The innumerable forms of refined torture that characterized the savage Hitler campaign of persecution and extermination of the German Jews is the most brutal and tragic challenge to civilization in a thousand years. In all the bloody pages of history, nothing so incredibly inhuman and uh, unprovoked was ever inflicted upon a loyal, law-abiding, unoffending people. A people who for set generations have stood in the forefront of culture. A people who have for centuries been embedded in the soil of Germany from which they are being driven and have shed their blood for their fatherland and who in times of peace have been the pillars of the nation of progress and prosperity and have lent luster to their country in all the arts, sciences and professions. The only crime charged against the Jews is that they are Jews. For that crime, they and their wives, mothers, fathers and children are being literally burned at the stake, robbed of their citizenship and denied the right to make a living. Shall the world stand idly by and take no steps to prevent this reversion to the Dark Ages? This is no more the fight of the Jews to rescue their crucified brethren than it is the fight of every human being, of every race and creed against the return of the medieval bigotry into Germany. It is essentially a fight for humanity. But there is a remedy. The boycott of all German goods and services is our only remedy. It is our only weapon of defense against the most cruel, wanton, degradation and destruction of the vast army of an un inoffensive human lives ever conceived by the fiendish fanaticism of savages. And so in sheer self-defense, and because there is no alternative, we have now most reluctantly embarked upon a worldwide boycott in which we demand and are receiving the wide support of men and women of all creeds and classes. In all the ages, no more holy war was ever waged. In order to do their share of service, this army of civilization, you have only to buy and use, or to refuse to buy and use any goods made in Germany, or to patronize German ships or shipping. I beg of you and call on you to do your duty in this solemn cause of humanity. That isn't much of a three or four minutes, is it? No, that's not the sad stop. I know. I said I call upon you tonight. Uh, no, you said I beg of you. Excellent. I beg of you to do your duty in the solemn cause of humanity. That is what you meant. Excellent. All right. Shall the world stand idly by? take no steps to prevent this reversion to the Dark Ages. This is no more the fight of the Jews to rescue their crucified brethren than it is the fight of every human being of every race and creed. That's all you want. Hmm?